From what you've learned around the world, Haiti, Peru, Russia, West Africa, what can you tell us about the U.S. healthcare system? Well, I think most Americans know that we spend a really big fraction of our GDP on healthcare. It's a, a, over 18 percent, I think. And there, there's no doubt that we're not getting value for that kind of in investment. Um, and there are lots of reasons for that. Um, there's a very weak health system here, the system itself. When someone needs a heart transplant or any major surgical procedure, we, we've got that covered. We, we, on biotech development, new therapeutics, the Americans are, are we're way, a, way ahead in many ways. The system itself is weak, however. And one of the primary weaknesses, uh, in fact, I would go so far as to say the primary weakness, is that we don't attend enough to preventing adverse outcomes among those who are already sick. So what do we need? Well, we learned in Haiti and then Rwanda that if you have community health workers who actually help people in their homes or places of work, that you're going to get improved clinical outcomes. One of the reasons that in the United States we work with the Navajo Nation um, is because we don't have to argue about that with them. They have had community health workers for decades, 60, 70 years. So we knew we wouldn't have to go through the same arguments. And it was about financing these petty, small salaries. These are underpaid people. And there should be literally millions of them in the United States helping move care from hospitals and even clinics home. Well, we're starting to hear that here in the United States as well. Really? Yeah. I mean, some of the major funders uh, you know, I mentioned the Gates Foundation or the Gateses, Warren Buffett, other people who have paid attention to this are, are saying, hey, how, how, how should we do this in the United States?